set to wave the green flag on practice session number one. Lap times in the middle, 11th second prag. Oh, trouble for Nick Parker over the edge of the bank and into the wall. Caution on the speedway. Nick Parker blew through the cushion, getting into turn number one, dropped over the edge of the banking and made fairly significant contact with the tire barrier up against the fence. Take a look at the replay from Dirt Vision. You can see him just slide through the cushion and get over the banking, get into that tire barrier, lifting the front end up off the ground, but the car is actually able to roll away from the accident scene. So Nick Parker's number 115 now pushed into the infield. Crew can take a look at that. In the meantime, we get set to go back under green flag conditions here in practice session number one as the greatest show on dirt is back at Placerville for the Federated Auto Parts 49er Gold Rush Classic. Logan Shewhart so far the fastest driver in this practice session. Now Dylan Bloomfield to the top of the speed chart with Corey Day right behind him. Bloomfield, Day, and Baston, one, two, and three as they cross up with the white flag in practice session number one. And now the checker flag is in the air. Fastest driver in the first practice session, Dylan Bloomfield in car number 83V. Bloomfield's lap, 11.117 seconds. Spencer based in second quick at 11.156. Corey Day third at 11.161. Joe Myers Jr. and Tanner Holmes round out the top five in the first of our five scheduled practice sessions. A look on the big screen at the damage to the back and the bumper pushed into the tail tank of Nick Parker's Parker Automotive 115. Doesn't look to be much other damage to the car. We'll see if they're able to get it out there for low E insulation qualifying.